Hey guys, so today's video is going to be my favorite nude lip products. I have lip glosses, lipsticks, and a few liquid lipsticks to share with you guys. This is another video in that series I started where I show you guys my favorite lip products in a certain color category. I've done my favorite red-orange lipsticks and I've done my favorite true red lipsticks as well or like lip products. I will link those two videos down below. But it's been so requested to do my favorite nudes. I've got a bunch of comments in that red lip video telling me to do nudes. So I'm doing nudes for you guys today. I'm even in my nudist shirt. I almost look naked, kind of a little bit. But this video is actually gonna be different than my last two. It's gonna be a little bit longer. I'm actually walking you guys through the colors. Usually I just put a little music and I just do the lip swatches. But because nudes, they're just, nudes are special. I am gonna breeze through them because I don't want this video to be too long. But I'm still gonna show you lip swatches. I'm just gonna talk about them a little bit and I'm gonna go in categories So I'm gonna show you my favorite nude glosses then liquid lipsticks and then lipsticks so Might as well just get started. We are gonna do glosses first and I have six to share with you guys I will say when it comes to glosses. I don't really wear darker nudes I typically like them to be a little bit on the lighter side I do have a couple that are a bit like deeper but most of these are like very very nude oh that's another thing i wanted to mention obviously these are nudes to me there are so many colors that fall under the nude category depending on your skin tone like something that's a deep tan brown on me might be a nude on someone else but i'm just sharing with you guys my favorite nude lip products these aren't the best nude lip products these are just the colors i like wearing so please just keep that in mind none of these colors go very very deep on me but yeah i'm just gonna go ahead and get started so my favorite lip gloss of all time is pretty much Buxom's White Russian. This is one of those plumping glosses that feel really tingly and minty on the lips, which is what I really like about it, even though I don't like mint. I love minty, tingly lip glosses, but it doesn't hurt or sting. I don't find it to be too plumping. I just think it makes your lips look very, very juicy. It doesn't have too much color payoff, but I like the like milky, pinky color that it gives me. I love this gloss, and it lasts a really long time on the lips. A gloss that's very, very similar, and I think it's the reason I fell in love with it. This is the ColourPop Gloss in Fairy Floss. It's my second favorite ColourPop Gloss. It's a very similar color. It has that milky vibe to it. I do think it has a little bit more color payoff than White Russian. It's not as sticky or tacky as White Russian, but they're very, very similar. This one is just a hair deeper, like a hair. White Russian is a little bit peachier, but I love it. It's a great formula. And then same goes for Moonchild. I think this is my most used lip gloss ever, even more than White Russian. I cannot get enough of this, obviously. I've gone through like three tubes already. It's such a pretty everyday nude. This color looks great on top of any nude lipstick and the subtle sparkle in this just makes your lips shine and it is just so gorgeous I love this color it's amazing I used to wear the Marc Jacobs lip gloss in sugar sugar all the time and then after a moon child that's pretty much all I wear but I was wearing this so much at one point this is a very very opaque lip gloss you can wear this on top of any lipstick but I think it looks better just paired with like a lip liner or on its own that's how opaque it is you have to be careful with this because if you apply too much you will get that weird sticky butthole thing on the inside of your lips that nude lip glosses can tend to give you but this is such a great formula it lasts a long time on the lips and it just makes your lips look nice and juicy and it's a very nude nude color and I love it this is a product that I feel nobody likes, nobody talks about, but I love the formula on these. This is the Too Faced Sweet Peach Creamy Peach Oil Lip Gloss, and this is in the shade Peach Fuzz. This is definitely an oil lip gloss, but I don't know. It doesn't feel like oily on the lips. It just feels like there's a barrier on your lips that's very, very moisturizing and thick. I don't know how to explain the formula, but it is unlike any other lip gloss I've ever used. The formula is super unique, and I love how this smells. If you're a fan of the peach scent, you will love this. I know a lot of people are not a fan, but I'm a huge fan, and I, it's just, it smells so good. And I just find this to be very nourishing and hydrating. I used to use this all the time. I used to throw it in my purse and just apply it whenever my lips felt kind of cracky and gross, but I still wanted to apply color. You know, I didn't want to just use a lip balm. It is so creamy and peachy and delicious. And then the last gloss I want to talk about is the Fenty Beauty Gloss Balm. This is the only one they have, but it's called Fenty Glow. I am hoping and praying that she releases more shades because this smells like my entire childhood. <laughs> Did you guys see that coming? Everything reminds me of my childhood, I know, but this definitely does. When I got older, I kind of started to like gloss a little bit less, but when I was in middle school, since like lip gloss 
was the only thing I was allowed to wear, it was the only thing I really wore. I had this little fuzzy blue backpack, it was a little Nike backpack. I used to carry around like 15 lip glosses in that purse at all times. And a lot of them were like the smuckers, smuckers, smackers, smackers. Smuckers is like jelly, right? I used to have like a trillion of those in my backpack and they smelled like this. But besides the scent, the color is really nice. It's kind of like a your lips but better lip gloss. It kind of has like a silvery sheen, but you don't really see it on the lips. It just makes your lips look nice and juicy and plump. And I love this color. It's so natural, but in such a glossy, beautiful way. It's awesome. I looked everywhere for my groovy lip gloss. It's from Bare Minerals. I forget the name of it. I think it's the... I don't know, but it's a Bare Minerals lip gloss. It's called Groovy. It has an amazing formula, and I love the color so much. I used to wear it nonstop, and it vanished. Like, a lot of my stuff vanishes. I think I left it in a purse, and then I might have left it at someone's house, because that was traveling with me everywhere I went, and that is definitely one of my favorite lip glosses, like, ever, ever. And I couldn't find it for this video, so I'm gonna have to freaking repurchase it because I miss it. Anyway, so out of all the lip glosses I own, those are my top dogs. I love them so much. And now we can move on to my favorite liquid lipsticks. Now this one is a tricky category because when it comes to liquid lipsticks, I just prefer deeper shades. Like if I'm gonna use a liquid lipstick, it's most likely not gonna be a nude. Since liquid lipsticks are so matte and a lot of them are very drying, it's hard to find a nude that isn't gonna crack or crumble or look disgusting on your lips. Now I made it a point to not mention any of my collabs. Well, I mentioned Moonchild already, but I have a bunch of Aquariuses that are my favorite nudes ever. Like, I created Aquarius because I wanted my perfect nude. So, the liquid lipstick, the satin lip, and the lippy stick, obviously, they're my favorite nudes. But I wasn't going to mention that in this video because you've seen Aquarius like a trillion times, I'm sure. But, these are my other favorites. And these are all really great formulas. I don't find them to be drying whatsoever. There's only two in here that are a little bit drying, but I sacrifice it because I love the color so much. And one of them is definitely this one. It's not drying, it's just not as comfortable as the other ones. This is the Dose of Colors liquid lipstick in the shade Sand. It's my lightest liquid lipstick ever. It's the lightest nude I have. This is literally sand. It's pretty much a concealer shade, and I know that scares a lot of people, but this looks so cool with a really, really deep, dark, smoky eye. As long as you pair like a darker lip liner underneath, this can look really nice. Too nude for some people, but sometimes I like that really nude, nude lip with like a little bit of gloss on top. Ooh. Delicious. I love it. And the Dose of Color formula is actually really good. Some people might say it's drying, but I find it to work for me. It doesn't really crack up on my lips, and as long as I put like a lip balm underneath, it works really well. So I love sand, especially mixed in with other liquid lipsticks. Like if I want to lighten up a color, I will add a little bit of sand, lightens it up. Beautiful. So Ofra Cosmetics has some of the best liquid lipsticks in the world because the formula is just unbeatable. They do dry down to a matte finish, so they look matte on the lips, but they're not drying at all. They just feel so incredibly comfortable, and my favorite nude that they have is Manila. It was hard to narrow this down because Bel Air and Sao Paulo are also my favorite. I would say Sao Paulo more than Bel Air, but if I had to choose, I would say I like Manila more. This just goes with everything. Even though it has more of like a cooler undertone, I pair this with so many different eye looks. I love this guy. I love all Ofra liquid lipsticks, so if this color isn't for you, definitely check out either Sao Paulo or Bel Air because they're a little bit warmer and I feel like you would love them if you are looking for a nude in this formula because it's that good. Like if I had to pick the best brand of liquid lipsticks for nudes, go to Ofra. They're so comfortable. Another really amazing formula is the Girl Lactic Liquid Lipsticks. If you need a nude, also check Girl Lactic. They're so comfortable on the lips as well. My favorite is Bashful. It just has that nice warm undertone and it looks so pretty and natural for every day. This is such a stunning color and it never cracks down. They smell really nice. They just look perfect throughout the entire day. Such a stunning formula. Okay, so I don't really dabble much into Kylie Cosmetics. I have a few products that I've purchased here and there, but for the most part, I mean, it's like, it's like, it's okay. But this, this is my favorite Kylie product and this is like one of my favorite liquid lipsticks ever, ever. This is the Kylie Matte Liquid Lipstick in the shade Exposed. I've used this so many times on my channel. There's something so unique about this for some reason. I can't seem to find a dupe for this. Like an exact dupe, I cannot find it. There's something so warm and delicious about this liquid lipstick. It kind of like transformed my makeup. Whenever I'm looking for a nude, but I want it to be deep, but a little bit warm and like brown. Oh, this is perfect. I freaking love this shade. And it is 
drying to some people, but I find it to be okay for me. As long as you wear like a lip balm underneath, you should be fine. It's such a pretty nude. I love this color so much. And then the last color I want to talk about is kind of like a newer favorite. The Healthy Lip from Physicians Formula in the shade All Natural Nude is such a pretty everyday pinky nude. It's not too pinky, but it's not too nude. It's so pretty and the formula is awesome. At first when you apply this, you're like, oh my gosh. Is this gonna dry down? But it does eventually dry down. It just takes a few minutes because it is such a creamy, hydrating formula. But once it does, it's very, very comfortable. It looks matte, but it's not drying. It's such a great formula. And it's my favorite color they have. Such a pretty nude. Okay, so those were my favorite nude liquid lipsticks. Awesome formulas. Now let's talk about my favorite nude lipsticks. I have 10 of them to share with you. I have actually like 50 to share with you, but I narrowed it down to 10. I haven't exactly swatched these next to each other. I know they're, they're all different, but don't be surprised if some of these nudes look alike, okay? They're different. They're, they're, they're different. There are two of these that are in liquid lipstick type of packaging, but I don't consider them liquid lipsticks because they don't dry down to like a matte finish. So anyway, let's get started. So I have two of these like chubby lip pencil style lipsticks. These are the Bite Beauty High Pigment Lip Pencils. I love all of these. These are so good. They have a great formula, very creamy and just glide on the lips. But my favorite is definitely the shade Madeira. I feel like it has such a pretty warm pink peachy undertone, but the finish is so nice on the lips because it has a little bit of like a sheen to it. It's very creamy and just so buttery smooth and it's really, really hydrating as well. I highly recommend these, especially Madeira. And then this one is the Nude Sticks Lip and Cheek Pencil Crayon in the shade Whisper. I like these a little bit more than the Bite ones. I think that this does last longer on my lips than Madeira. I don't know what it is about it, but this formula just seems to be a little bit more long wearing. But again, also another creamy formula. It does still glide on the lips, even though it's not as sheeny and as creamy as the Bite ones. It doesn't look matte or drying on the lips like you can tell there's like some moisture to it you know but this color is beautiful this undertone is so nice whenever I'm doing like cooler tone looks I'll pop this on it is stunning and you could use this on your cheeks but I never do because I think that's strange but it says you can. So this has been a long time favorite since I started my channel. And I'm not gonna lie, I used to use this a lot more a couple years ago, but I actually wore it the other day to the movies. That's right, I went to the movies. And I actually got a couple compliments on this. And it reminded me how much I loved it and I wanna use it all the time now. This is the NYX Soft Matte Lip Cream in the shade London. Out of all the soft matte lip creams, this one is my favorite. Well, out of all the nude ones, it has like this really pretty subtle tan brown undertone and it kind of makes me feel more tan. Like I just feel so summery and like jello-y when I wear this nude. I know that sounds weird, but that's just how I feel. <laughs> and the formula is really nice as well. These do transfer, these are not liquid lipsticks, but they do have a matte finish. They do slip and slide. I would recommend you wearing a lip liner with these because if not, they won't be very long wearing, but they just make the lips look so smooth because the formula is just so soft. I love it. Highly recommend these, especially London. Charlotte Tilbury sent me all of her Hollywood lips and this is my favorite one. I actually gave a lot of them away to like friends and family, but this one I keep going back to over and over and over again. This is the shade Charlotte Darling, which I don't know if she named it after herself because it was her favorite, but it's definitely my favorite. I love this in the same way that I love Kylie Exposed. Like there's something about this that's so unique and different and it's, and it's the reason I keep going back to it. It's just like this peachy tan color that's so stunning and it looks so pretty with so many looks, but I love the formula on this as well. It actually reminds Reminds me a lot of the NYX soft matte lip cream, but a lot more expensive. So I'm not exactly sure if these are worth the money. I just love this color so much. I think this one is and I wear it all the time. And then the rest of these are in typical lipstick bullet packaging, except the last one. How many of you guys remember my love for Bear It All, Wet n Wild Bear It All? I mean, if you remember this, then you have been watching me since like five subscribers. But these Mega Last lipsticks have always been so good. I recommend them to everyone who's looking for a super, 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 super affordable lipstick that's gonna last a decent amount of time and that's gonna have a pretty good formula. The packaging on these, it's a little cheap, but I mean, what do you expect? It's like $2 lipstick. You can't have it all. But I love this color. It's actually a dupe from MAC Velvet Teddy. I don't have that one anymore, so I can't swatch them side by side to check, but I'm pretty sure if I remember correctly, this is a dupe for it. And it's honestly the same thing. Buy this one instead. 
same thing creamy formula just as good as MAC and it lasts a really long time on the lips I love this color it's awesome if you want a nude that's not like concealer nude but still nude but still kind of bold I don't know I love this lipstick okay so the next one is the one I'm wearing on my lips right now ever since I discovered it I keep it in my purse I actually wear it all the time surprisingly this is the Too Faced Sunday Fun Day lipstick and it came out with their peach line oh my gosh this is another peach thing wow I didn't realize how much I like the Too Faced peach lip products but out of all the lipsticks this one is definitely my favorite I've got to be honest I don't even wear any of the other lipsticks in this peach line this color is just so pretty it's the one I'm wearing on my lips right now and there's something about this like powdery formula that just applies so easily and it's just like this color I love it so much I don't even have to use a mirror it's just so creamy and smooth but I love the formula because it just looks nice and matte but not too matte it's not drying at all I love it and it smells like peaches I love this scent and I smell the peach throughout the day which I personally like and it has like this really pretty like taupey undertone I love it okay so Milani has these matte lipsticks that are really great the formulas are amazing I love so many colors from this range but I use this shade all the time whenever I want to lighten the center of my nude lipstick this is Milani matte innocence it's a very 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 light nude I would only recommend this for your entire lips if you are very 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 fair and you can't seem to find a nude that's nude enough this is nude enough it has that peachy undertone that can be a little bit scary but for the springtime it just looks so nice like dotted in the center of the lips with a little lip gloss on top I just love the formula of these matte lipsticks so much I really wanted to mention it and they smell good too why can't I smell this one they usually smell like vanilla hmm who remembers my love for Raquel? I was obsessed with the NARS Audacious lipsticks at one point. I was collecting them. I Do you remember? I was still living in Mississippi. These Audacious lipsticks are very pricey, but in my opinion, they are so worth the money. They're cheaper than Tom Ford lipsticks and YSL lipsticks, and I think they're way better. Some of the best luxury lipsticks out there. But my obsession was Raquel for a really long time. This is actually a brand new Raquel. I've only used this one like two or three times times because I went through an entire Raquel isn't that crazy this used to be my go-to nude lipstick it was my favorite nude lipstick ever it's a very opaque lipstick like extremely extremely opaque just one swipe of this will give you full intense color payoff but it's still very very creamy and buttery it's not drying it's just a delicious pinky nude it has a little bit of a peachy undertone a lot of the times I'll wear this just dotted on the lips because it is so pigmented and it just looks so pretty and natural and I love this shade I don't wear it nearly as much as I used to and I don't know why because it's amazing so another amazing formula at the drugstore when it comes to matte lipsticks besides Milani and Wet n Wild these Maybelline matte lipsticks are awesome they have a you know what it reminds me a lot of my Sunday fun day lipstick the formula on this one is very creamy but it has like that powdery matte finish that's not drying at all I don't want that to scare you and these are very similar this one is in the shade called daringly nude it's my favorite Maybelline nude it just pairs so well with so many looks because it's not too dark but it's not too light either it's just the perfect pinky nude the formula is awesome it lasts all day on the lips and it's extremely comfortable and then the last lip product I want to talk about is a newer discovery to me but I've worn this like four times already and I really like this and I just want to mention it It's kind of like an honorable mention. This is the NYX powder puff lippy and this is in the shade cool intentions I love that name and I like this for a very strange reason um, Recently, I've just been keeping this in my purse and I'll just dab this on my lips to give me that undone look Kind of like that imperfect lip look. I won't be very precise with this I'll just apply it to my entire lips But I'll kind of like blend it in with my fingers and make it look kind of faded and just messy And for some reason I just really like how that looks it is a powdery finish So it does have a matte finish, but it's not drying It kind of feels like nothing on the lips, but I really really like it and I really like this color too. It's a deep nude, but it's still like a nude. I love it. Okay guys, so that completes this video. These were my favorite nude lip products. Don't forget to leave me a comment down below letting me know what your favorite nude lipstick is. What is your favorite? You know what? No. Leave me this down below. Leave me your favorite lip gloss of all time. Nude, obviously. Favorite nude liquid lipstick of all time and your favorite nude lips, regular lipstick of all time. I want to know those three. Leave them in the comments down below. And also, don't forget to request the next color in the comments below. Do you want to see mauves next? Pinks? Like, what do you want to see next in this series? Leave it down below. But that completes this video, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe if you haven't already, and I will see you in my next video. Bye. Oh, no. No. <laughs>
that don't have a lot of Sanaman Beach! This is the Too Faced Sweet Peach Creamy Peach. Creamy? Creamy Peach. The Healthy Lip. Here, my mouth. This is the NYX Power Puff. Nope, Powder Puff. 